Hey, what's up, everybody? Today we're going to talk about the Marcus Lawrence. This is serious. He's been tagged officially. The Cowboys have until Tuesday. They went ahead and made the move here, submitted the paperwork to New York. Um, Henchmanville, New York City. All right, so the paperwork's in. The $17 million man. $17 million on my dress. Ah! All right, so. What does this mean? This means that uh, $17 million, you know, 17 to 17.5. There's a couple of variations. People are saying what the actual amount will be. So that range will be deducted from our salary cap. That's going to leave us with not much money at all. Expect this to be a very busy week for the Cowboys. Uh, Jerry Jones today, you know, was testifying for his, uh, you know, that thing about him owing the league money for, uh, you know, court charges and fees and all that crap. But uh, he'll be back. Expect a conversation with Des to happen. Expect uh, contract moves, restructures to be moved. They're going to move money around, okay? This is going to be a very busy week. The usual suspect, probably, Travis Frederick. Um, and probably Tyron Smith. They usually go to him. But uh, we'll see. And, of course, you have... Other players with potential releases that could, you know, free up some money. Tyron Crawford, Orlando Skandrick, and that kind of thing, you know. I don't expect to be a fire sell. I don't expect a lot of Cowboys to be released and cut and that sort of thing. They will look at this strategically and uh, make the moves accordingly. But back to Demarcus Lawrence. $17 million. This is the right move for me, you know. Uh, I mean, we're talking about the Dez contract. It seems like every couple of years we're talking about a contract, all right? Tony Romo, Dez, uh, Orlando Scandrick, Tyron Crawford. Okay, so we know that the Cowboys are still having issues with contracts or they're not getting the bang for the, the buck, you know? So this is the right move. All right, let's see what Demarcus Lawrence can do for another year before we invest. You know, we don't want to... I don't want to invest big time, man. I mean, because he had one solid year. The other year's issues with the injury, the back, suspension, that kind of thing. We want some uh, consistency is the key, all right? We saw what happened with the Sean Lee contract. You know, they were able to rework that and massage it to be a little bit more palatable to the palate. But uh, it is what it is. You know, $17 million. Let's see what he can do. All right, can he stay healthy? Can he not be suspended? Can he reproduce that big time money for himself? And can he produce sacks for the Cowboys? All right, so this is big for the Cowboys. I expect probably they do have till July, I believe it's 15th or 16th to, you know, get a long term contract. But for right now, $17 million, you know, slash added to the cap so we're not dealing with much money right now expect us to make some moves all right the next big thing will be the des conversation that these guys have are they going to ask him to slash his contract in half or else or is it a non-issue you know jerry jones seemed to have a little bit more of a different view of des than stephen jones and uh, jason garrett so th this could be interesting uh either way though I know, I know the Cowboys have this planned out, and uh, <clears throat> you know there's a there's a plan in place. So if they were to release him, they'd probably bring in a vet, and obviously you're gonna have to go draft a wide receiver. Are those two combinations enough to fill the void of Dez's numbers, production, and that sort of thing? You know we don't know, but either way, the Cowboys have to get younger at wide receiver. This is something that they cannot avoid many more seasons they're getting older so eventually you're gonna have to invest in a wide receiver whether it's this year next year it's coming all right they got it they got to get another guy somebody that could possibly move into a number one position you know calvin ridley a dj moore type of guy um and there's a lot of other guys out there you know we just, the combine just finished today and uh, we'll continue to cover prospects for you guys um, but that's it for right now, guys. That's all the news we have for today. Monday, thank God it's over with. Good news, though, you know. We're, we're going to have Marcus Lawrence here locked up for $17 million. All right. 
I really appreciate all you guys out there, all right? This has been a really fun off-season, you know, covering all the players in the draft. Shout out to all you guys and all the new subscribers. Thank you very much from the bottom of my heart. And as usual, guys, continue to like, subscribe, and share. And we'll see you for the next video. Thanks, guys.